In this video, I'll be sharing 10 weight loss tips which allow you to lose weight whilst also keeping it off. So you can lose weight and keep it off. For most people, they lose weight but they end up gaining all the way back afterwards. That is because they don't follow these 10 tips I'll be sharing in this video. If you follow these 10 tips, you're guaranteed to lose weight but also keep it off for the long term. So you can lose weight, lose that fat, but also keep it off for the long term. This comes from someone who has lost 100 pounds, over 50 kilograms, they just want to eat. I learned about what works, but also does not work when it comes to diet, exercise, and weight loss in general, losing weight, losing fat. I learned about what works, what does not work. I made lots of mistakes in my journey, but these are 10 tips you need to follow to actually lose weight but also to keep it at the same time. My first tip for you is to follow a sustainable exercise routine. Do a sustainable exercise which suits your life, so that's very important. Do an exercise which suits your day-to-day -day life. Most people, they do exercises which they hate and therefore they do it for a week, two weeks, but they give up afterwards, they stop. But what's better is for you to do an exercise which you actually like and enjoy and therefore you continue losing weight. And even after you lose weight, you still do this exercise because you still love it, you like this exercise, you enjoy it, it suits your day-to-day -day life. There is no such thing as a perfect exercise. All exercises are effective. Every single exercise in this world is effective, they're all great, they're all good for you, they're all effective, they're all highly effective. You just do exercise which you actually like and enjoy it. That's the best exercise for you. Honestly, try different exercises out. That's the first step. And then afterwards, the second step is just to do it. Just do exercise which you actually like and enjoy. That's it. My second tip for you is do not underestimate calories. People underestimate the calories and therefore they can't lose weight. So if you want to lose weight, you have to be in a calorie deficit. A calorie deficit just means that you burn more calories than you consume. Burn more calories than you consume. That's why calorie deficit is very simple. You have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. You're not lose weight unless you are actually in a calorie deficit. You can use any calorie calculator. I normally use this one, but this is my information from two years ago. Let's give me an example. Let's make sure you write your, your information, of course. Let's write your age, your weight, your height, and how much exercise you do per week. And just please make sure that your weight and height is accurate and like the most up-to-date one. So when you calculate your own calories, at the top left you'll see your maintenance calories. So these calories are just to maintain your weight. So these calories are the amount of calories you're meant to be eating to maintain your weight. So your maintenance calories. So for example, for me back then, it was 3,700. This is where you'll find your cutting calories, so your calorie deficit calories. So you can see your maintenance calories here. You can see your cutting calories here and your bulking calories here. So maintenance is to maintain your weight. Cutting is to lose weight. We don't care about maintenance and we don't care about bulking. We care about cutting. A 500 calorie deficit is more than enough. You shouldn't go above a 500 calorie deficit. You just go to maintenance calories and you can just subtract 500 from that. It's very easy. That's 3,700 minus 500, 3,200. The next step is to track your calories. So now that you know how to calculate your own calories, the second step will be to track your calories. You have to track your calories to ensure that you are at a deficit. I start my journey, I hate tracking calories, but afterwards I got used to it. It's very easy to track calories. We need these two things, a food scale and also my fitness pal. The food scale will be used to measure your food. Use my fitness pal to lock all the foods you ate during the day, so your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, your snacks, and that will actually make sure that you are at a deficit. Because tracking calories allows you to ensure that you are at a deficit. You have to make sure I am guaranteed that you are at a deficit. Otherwise, you don't lose weight. So as you can see over here, I have my plate. I just turn on the food scale. Once it's zero, you add your food. So as you can see, I'm adding my sweet potatoes over here. And as you can see, it weighs 214 grams. So let's say that I want to have some chickpeas as well. So as you can see, I just turn on the food scale again. And I add my chickpeas. So the next step is to go to my fitness pal. I just search for sweet potatoes. Very easy. Search for sweet potatoes. Press on it. And then you choose how much grams you have. So I had 214 grams right now. So I'll just write 214 grams. And then that's it, it shows your calories, it shows how much carbs, fats, and proteins it has. I just press tick at the top right. Then I had like 82 grams of chickpeas. I'll just search for chickpeas, how much number of servings, and then I'll write 82 grams. You can just choose grams or the whole container, but I had 82 grams, done. And you'll do this for all the fish you eat during the day, so for your breakfast, for your lunch, your dinner, and also your snack. Diet and exercise go together. You can't just do exercise only. If you just do exercise only and your diet is really bad, you have a bad diet and you're not a calorie deficit, you'll not lose weight because you're out of exercise. You get the health benefits, but you'll not lose weight. So it's very important for you to make sure that your diet and exercise go together. My third tip for you, which relates to calorie deficit, is to make sure that you eat mostly healthy foods. Make sure that you're eating more healthy, clean feeling foods, less processed foods, less sugar, less junk foods. This is something which most people struggle with. Most people they struggle with eating healthy foods and not eating junk foods, sugar processed foods. Diet is the hardest part when it comes to losing weight, losing fat, and fitness in general. Even if you're more than muscle, diet is the hardest you still enjoy your life. I'm not trying to say you have to cut junk food, sugar processed foods, but don't be addicted. Don't let it become addiction. Addictions are really bad for you. Because each time we eat junk food, sugar, processed foods, we spike our insulin. Once the insulin spikes, leptin gets brought. Leptin is a hormone in your body. We signals to your brain and your body that you're full. So it signals to your brain that you're full. Each time you spike your insulin, naturally you just feel more hungry. You want to eat more food, you eat a second portion, you want to eat a third portion. So the lesson here is to eat more healthy foods and less processed foods, less sugar, less junk food. The goal here is not to quit junk food, processed foods, or sugar. You can still eat them once in a while. As a human being, you live once, you can still enjoy junk food, sugar processes, weight loss, and losing weight, losing fat, diet, exercise, all of this stuff is all about experimenting. You have to experiment with diet, with exercise, you have to experiment with a healthy 
foods. They have to explore different exercises. That way you can find foods which you like and enjoy, which you have every single day during your journey. And to reduce your cravings for junk food, sugar, processed foods, all you have to do is replace your bad habits with good habits. So replace junk food, sugar, processed foods with a healthy alternative. That's the only way to do it. You have to replace junk food, sugar, processed foods with healthy alternatives. For example, I replace McDonald's fries. I like McDonald's fries. I replace McDonald's fries with my own fries, which made at home. Get some potatoes or sweet potatoes. Cut them up into fries. Cut them up into shapes of fries. Then afterwards, put in the oven. If you have an oven that's great. If you don't have an oven, use an air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, then just boil them. That way, you have your own fries, which made at home, which is nice, oven roasted. Just add some sauce to the side, and that's it. Do this for all your foods, all your favorite foods, for all your favorite junk food. If you want a chicken burger, make your own chicken burger at home. If you want some fries, make your own fries at home. Simple. It's not hard. Instead of having crisps or chips, replace it with popcorn. Instead of having milk chocolate, replace it with dark chocolate. My fourth tip for you is to start meditating. Please start meditating every single day, every morning, and every evening. Mindfulness will help you for the long term. Mindfulness will allow you to have control over your cravings for junk food, sugar, processed foods, but it's also make you a more mindful person as well. So please meditate every single day in the morning and evening. Just have to be hard. Just two minutes of your day. That way you get better sleep as well. More quality sleep as well. Because you have mindfulness, you get rid of all your thoughts, and then you go to sleep very fast, much faster. So my next tip for you, which relates to mindfulness, is to start eating mindfully. Most people these days, they're on their phones whilst they eat this eating, they're eating their food, they look on their phone, and by the time they finish the video or the YouTube video or the Instagram reel or the TikTok video, the food is gone. The food is finished. In the modern days, very easy to be distracted on your phone just whilst eating this on your phone, you're scrolling whilst eating. It's not help you, I promise you that. Especially if you're losing weight, you also gonna finish your food very fast, you're gonna enjoy the taste of it, just be swollen it randomly. That's not great. I used to do this as well. I'm not trying to say that you're the only person doing this or at the world. I used to do this as well. All of these tips and all this advice you're gonna be, I used to do them as well. Because I used to be overweight once once upon a time. I used to be overweight. My next tip for you is to avoid drinking calories. Drinking calories is the worst thing that you can do during your journey. If you want to do this way, this bad, because you're gonna you have a certain amount of calories meant to be eaten. You have a certain amount of calories which meant to be eaten, right? If you drink juice all the time, drink lots of juice, you are sacrificing that juice for food. What you can do, which worked for me as well when my journey, was that you just place juice with your own juice, make your own juice at home, get some fruits, but you have your own like fresh juice if you want to buy it from the supermarket, it's absolutely fine. But don't have juice which has lots of sugar avoid that lots of sugar lots of calories avoid them because they have like 50 grams of sugar like coca-cola for example it has like 30 grams 40 grams of sugar which is like your daily allowance of sugar your daily allowance your whole daily allowance of sugar so please avoid that and have more healthy juice and less processed juice and drink more water as well drink more water aim for two and a half liters every single two and a half liters three liters every single day i drink three liters every single day it's not harmful it's not bad for your body it's great for you drink lots of water also has more benefits as well because it allows you to stay full for longer so during the day before your meals and after your meals a life hack is to actually drink water for your meals and after your meals and during your meals as well. That way you keep more full as well and you won't feel too hungry during the day. When you're losing weight, when you're losing fat, it's very important for you to focus on diet and exercise, right? It's very important. There's one more key error which you're missing, which you forget about. That's my eighth tip for you. Diet and exercise matter, of course, but also your sleep matters as well. Make sure you get eight hours of sleep every single night. Try your best to get enough sleep every single night. It's very important to focus on sleep so you can recover from your workouts. It's very important for you to recover from your workouts, recover from the previous day. Your phone needs to be charged, right? It has a battery, it has to be charged. Otherwise, it won't function, it won't turn on, right? Same thing with you. You're a human being. You have a certain amount of energy during the day, so it's very important for you to get enough sleep so you recover from all the things that you did today, all the exercises you did today, all the work that you did today, and that way, next day, you can perform your best, you recharge, you're fresh, you're recharged. My next tip for you is to focus on being consistent. Please be consistent. It's very important for you to be consistent to lose weight, lose fat. But don't mistake consistency for perfectionism. Don't mistake consistency for perfectionism. Being perfect is the road to failure. Being consistent is the road to success. It's the road to achieving your goals and the road to achieving goals and also maintaining your goals and actually keep the weight off as well. So in this case, keep the weight off, lose that weight, lose that fat, keep that fat off, keep the weight off, keep that belly fat off, and that way you achieve your goals and you keep it up for the long term, right? That's if you're being consistent. But if you're being perfect, you will give up. And my last tip for you is be patient. Please be patient. It's very important for you to be consistent, but also be patient. Most people are patient enough. They're patient with the results. They don't the result and just give up, it discourages them, they just stop, they just give up, right? But you have to be patient. The people who succeed, the people who are patient, they're patient, they do the hard work. Even if they don't see results, they still do the hard work, they still continue, they still continue. They still continue being consistent with their diet, they exercise, they sleep, they still continue and they get the results. One day of not dieting, one day of not being cardiac, one day of not exercising, will not stop all your progress. People have that mindset, they have that bad mindset, which they think that one day of no exercise, one day of no diet, one day of eating junk food, sugar, processed foods, means that they lost all their progress. Do I have that mindset? I used to have that mindset. Do I have that mindset? Otherwise, you'll fail, you'll give up, you'll not be patient, you'll just give up. If you give up on track, you achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's stay helpful. If you did, subscribe down below. Or ask me to do subscribe down below if you want to stay helpful. Comment down below if you have any questions about weight loss, diet, exercise. If you have any questions, just comment down below. And I'll see you next video. Have a great week. Take care. Goodbye.